A double trunk ball. Well, you know, that's a good sized trunk to begin with, but to have the style of that trunk is awesome. <laughs> Sunday on a Sunday, and today it just happens to be Porsche Day. Lots of 914s, GT2s, uh, some nice, nice stuff, including some cars with some good size wings for that downforce that you need to have when you're hitting about 240 miles an hour, which uh, is quite frequent in here in LA. You know, traffic times, things like that, uh, you get a chance to really rip it. No, not really. or rolling in uh, by the bushel full, but uh, we're gonna wait a little bit, go look at some other cars until the rest yeah, of them roll in. Yeah. Then we'll go back. I love it. I, I went back. Lots of nice classics. Oh, 
Sunday. This is Martin. Uh, you get a lot of cars at shows like this, but rarely do you hear a story like yours. Yes. So you're a, a first owner and only owner of this Corvette. Correct. So tell me, uh, tell me the story of this in about 30 seconds. Okay. Well, I ordered a 1957 Corvette, but they went on strike and it wasn't coming in. And I looked in the newspaper one day and I saw a 58, and it had dual headlights. The 57 only had the single. Right. So I called up. Uh, A.E. Nugent, and I says, hey, cancel my order. I don't want a one-year-old car that I'm paying as a new car. And what and year was this? In 1957. Wow. And so uh, he says, well, the first 58 that comes out is yours. He called me, this was in January, and I went down there and I took a look at it and I says, okay, now it's, uh, it only has a three-speed manual transmission, small engine, no air, no uh, heater, and I said, I don't care, I want it. And yeah. I paid $3,400 for it, <laughs> license and tax, and uh, wow. that was it. I don't think you can get anything for $3,400 at all nowadays. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe a latte, that's about or it. Or a large television, Yeah, maybe. right, right. Um, incredible story, and I'm sure you've done a lot of shows with this car over the years. No, I have not. Really? No. Has it been garaged? Is it most of the time? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It only has. I just turned over a hundred thousand miles on it. Wow. Right now it's got a hundred and seventy-two miles on it. Well, well, I appreciate you sharing it with everybody. Okay. Finally. Awesome. Thank you, man. Invariably at Supercar Sunday, I find lots of cool cars, but I only lose one person, and that's Paul Grisanti. I have no idea where he is. I'm looking for his hat at this point. Uh, I'm still trying to find Dustin's hat, too, the orange hat. But I'll just keep walking around until I spot him. I found Paul. Hey. Yeah. Hi. Uh, best car at Supercar Sunday today. What'd you like? Uh, well, there was a uh, 914 with a a Subaru WRX turbocharged engine in it that yeah. was looking pretty sweet. That would have been fun to drive. There was a very nice uh, stock 914.6, mm -hmm. which also would be a fun car to drive. How many 914s were there? The, the guy said that uh, Steve said it was going to be about 80 of them pulling in. That's a lot. That's a lot, but I'm sure there's at least 60, so. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all of them that are left in the world. Maybe all of them that are left in LA County, but yeah. they have some sort of a gathering that they were at yesterday, mm. where they took an aerial photograph of them uh, up on top of a mountain, and there were about six, 70, 80 pick cars in that picture. Yeah, nice idea, a droning 914, I have to remember that. Yeah, yeah, but then the owners of them would say, no, no, the exhaust note is not a drone. <laughs> it's it's a very pleasant exhaust note. Right, right.
I really like my friends. I know that sounds kind of weird because everybody really likes their friends, but what I really mean to say is I really appreciate my friends. I'm really, really grateful for the people that I hang out with. But the one thing that I like most about my friends, the particular type of people I hang out with, is those that really go extreme in the areas uh, that they love. When you see Paul on the on the vlog here, what you, you see is a, a guy that's very funny, very normal, but what you don't see is the kind of career this guy has had. He and his wife Sarah have been realtors in Malibu for a very long time. I mean like a really long time. But the reason that they're so successful in that is because they love it. They don't look at being a realtor as selling houses. They look at it as finding the right home for the right person. In much the same way that you would find the right person for the right kind of car. And it's always fun to go to car shows like this with people that are incredibly passionate. Success comes from intense focus. We've talked about this on Art Talk at 8 a.m. in the morning. I hope you'll join us for that. But I knew that Paul loved Porsches and I figured he should go with me to this. And when you go to a show like Supercar Sunday where there's lots of different stuff, it's really hard to pick your favorite. In fact, I pose that question to you guys. Leave a comment in the comments section which car that you saw in today's vlog was your favorite. And in some subtle, sneaky sort of way, I'm getting you to focus on things that you like, things that make you happy. It's my way of keeping you guys focused on what it is that you love. So keep it up, because when you do, lots of cool stuff comes. Cool stuff like A-Team Bands, Back to the Future DeLoreans, and super cool Batmobiles. So that's all I got for you guys today on today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Be sure to pick up a coloring book on Amazon. There's gotta be some kid out there that wants to color, even if he is 60 years old.